Come on, quit dragging your feet. Are you sure about this? I've never been to one of these before. Dude, you'll be fine. You never go to anything anymore. I'm not letting you stay cooped up in your room for another quarter. Well, I mean, it's just not one. All right, awesome. A potential friend. Go get him, bud. Oh, hey, you can't leave me here with this guy. Why not? He likes board games. You like board games. Just have fun. I'm sure you'll be a natural at it. Just look at him. He'll do great. See ya. Caden Roseman. Have you ever played Trains to Halcyon? Uh, no, but, but it sounds familiar. One of the greatest board games of the past 20 years. A brilliant display of tactics, management, and mind games. Millions of fans worldwide. Care to engage in a game? Yeah, but, uh, I mean, you'll have to teach me, but... I'm sorry, I never got your name. They call me the king. Of the. Cool. Where do we begin? First, you select a piece that represents you. Crossing the bridge to Halcyon nets you a win. Roll dice to continue. That does sound pretty simple. Excellent choice. The warrior model would be a far superior choice, however. Uh, well, uh, I guess I've lost already then. <laughs> Impossible. You haven't even selected your fortitude yet. My fortitude? <sighs> In order to begin, you select your fortitude. After selecting your fortitude, you select your train arts. After selecting your train arts, you select your art kind, or in layman's terms, your train arts subskill. I see. Could I, could I see the rules for a second? Of course. I, I mean, just give me two seconds. I, I think I'm ready. Excellent. I've set up our map, and I've already chosen my subskill as well as my citizens and congregation. And, and my citizens and my congregation are different, but they both affect my trade exports, correct? Correct. Okay. And my congregation, it will affect my citizens' mood, which is determined by an emotion card. Correct. Okay. Uh, so I draw both. And then I make an inclination coin flip. Heads. So I take my congregation, my motion, my inclination coin result, all determines my citizen's mood. And they're going to ride on my champion train piece because that would be the easiest way to get through the Everwoods since my armor provides protection against spirits attacking my citizens. Right? That would be an advisable move, yes. Perfect. Let's begin. I upgraded my warrior model to level 5, allowing me to transport twice as much wheat. Ah, but I recently came across an agricultural intercept card, allowing me to automatically sabotage one of your treks without using my turn if you're transporting food-based items past the Western Trading Market. But I have the Totem of Repudiation, which allows me to negate one card every agricultural cycle, as long as my congregation's worship level is above a 5, and it's currently at a 6. Oh, oh but by passing by my gate, your uh, congregation level is actually going to be at a four because of sales tax. And, and since I have the congregative collection skill, it means, uh, yes, I'm, <laughs> that gives me 10 extra cargo carriers, which puts us at a, a tie. 
No one ever bested me at trains to Halcyon. And yet, you've brought me to a draw. It's no victory, but bringing the king to a draw. It's impressive. Yo, Caden. Oh. Uh. Hi, Matt. Dude, it's been hours. I was getting worried that guy like killed you or something. What happened back then? Well, I... I think I made a friend. <laughs> 